As you work on planning your summer trips, we have an adventure that you just might want to check out. It's not far from home. It's a great little place that probably not enough of you have heard about. It's called Brownstone Adventure Park in Portland. We've got Laura Lafredo from the park joining me right now. A pleasure to meet you. Thank you. We've already Thank had a you. lot of fun yep. talking yep. about the history of it. I mean, it's really a, just a big brownstone quarry that it you is. guys converted into a water it park. Is. The history on the park Portland Quarry is amazing. It's just hundreds of years old, and the miners literally mined it out all that brownstone, shipped it to uh, Boston and New York. Yeah. So the history is fabulous there on itself, the historic value. Yeah, but as far as the fun you can have there, you know what, even before we get into that, because there's a lot to get into, let's talk about how accessible it is, For yeah. given you know yeah. that more people need to know about it. You come right down Route 9 uh, to Middletown, just cross the Aragone Bridge, and it's more or less right there. You're right there. Yeah. yeah, you're right there. So it's easy to get to. Yep. All right, uh, now we're finally taking a look at some some video here. Um, what is what can people do at Brownstone? What is new this year at Brownstone? Okay, the park is great for all ages. Yeah. First, let's just start with that. So we've got five, we try to do something new every year. Mm -hmm. So we've got five new zip lines going in this year. Right. Starting off of eighty foot cliffs, 80 and ending foot. yeah, and, and <laughs> it's, it's okay. You're yeah. going to end in water. It's yep. all good. You kind of come in like a skimming stone. Yep. And we've got a new under 12 area that we're um, actually enlarging. Oh, wonderful. And moving. So that we've got the smaller obstacles for the kids. You know, they can play on something that's more their size yep. and have a great time at the, at the park as well. It looks like the, essentially water skiing there, too. That's uh, wakeboarding. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah that's go. what you got to come and try. Okay. Because it's not something that has been accessible to a lot of people. So wakeboarding is definitely, it's an overhead cable system that pulls you, and it's a sport. Yeah. So we teach you how to do that. Yeah. yeah. And it's got to be a lot easier than trying to find somebody with a motorboat. To exactly. To get on exactly. A lake. It's, love, it's definitely accessible for everybody now. You know what I love doing? Because I've, I've seen there uh, people playing on it, um, the, the inflatable uh, yep. sort of rafts that uh, yep. you put a kid on, somebody else jumps and they go yep. flying through the air. Well, there's the giant blob. Yeah. So the giant blob, you climb, everything you do at Brownstone, you also have to work for. Yeah, it's a challenge. <laughs> so you have to climb a wall. Yeah. And then you jump off of the diving board onto the blob. Hopefully you land on the pillow, <laughs> and then the next person coming down does the same thing and bounces you. I love that. Name. I know. The I giant know. blob. The giant blob, that yeah. That's great. <laughs> uh, when do you guys open up? We open Memorial Day weekend for the general public. Okay. We start with school groups on May 18th. Okay. So we get a lot of field trips coming down. They come all the way from Maine to come see us. Sure. Uh, spend the day with us, and um, we even have team building activities so that we can add that element to some school trips. And, you know, I wanted to ask you about the water temperature. I okay. saw that list of questions, <laughs> and I'm on. thinking, yeah, like when I'm, <laughs> I, I'm at home, you know, you, you got to wait for the water temperature just yeah. to get to the right part. Yeah. But uh, do, uh, how does it work with you guys there? Does it actually help because it's sort of enclosed? And, You're right. Yeah. You're right. It's the brownstone. So it kind of acts as like a solar blanket. So mm -hmm. once we start getting warmer temperatures, yeah. that brownstone cliffs, they kind of insulate it. So we're about 10 degrees warmer than any other body of water out there. Isn't that interesting, yeah, too? Yeah, so it warms up quick. And who really cares when you're jumping off a cliff? <laughs> you know, really. Yeah. 60 degrees, 70 degrees, it's okay. It's a good time. Yeah, it's a good it's time. It's a good time. Oh, all sorts of fun with the zip lines and yeah. whatnot. Uh, yeah. uh, what else do people need to know if they want to check out the park? It's really easy because you can go right online and purchase your ticket. And yep. you're purchasing a ticket for the 2017 season. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to worry about purchasing an exact day pass. Okay. So go online, get your passes, and um, enter the park really easily. There's a waiver on, online, but it's simple. What's the easiest? You can bring your own food. Oh, you can? You can bring your own food into our park, and parking's free. So yeah. it's very affordable for families. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. And a little bit of history, too, because, yeah, like I said, cross the Aragone Bridge, come down Route 17, Main Street there. Oh, I think that's my microphone going a little crazy. But, uh, yeah, you can see a lot of the brownstone buildings that the yeah. brownstone was made from. Yeah, so. yeah. All right. Uh, well, thank you so much, Laura. So Pleasure welcome. to have you right now. We expect to see you in the park. Yes, we, uh, <laughs> we will be there this year. And uh, a reminder, folks, the Day Trips and Destinations Travel and Family Fun Expo is happening on Saturday, May 6th. So mark your calendar. It's fewer than two weeks away, and it's all happening happening at its usual location, the Aqua Turf Club in Southington. Uh, the folks from Brownstone will be there as well, so you can find out a lot more. All right, coming up next on Good Day Connecticut here on Fox 61, we're gearing up for the Travelers Championship already. That's another sign of spring. Media Day coming up. We're going to have a look at who's playing so far, plus an event well before the players and fans step onto the green. Stay with us for that.